and I would like to, ta to tell you a real princess story about a Hungarian princess called Zsuzsanna Loránti. She lived in the 17th century, so about 400 years ago in Hungary. At that time, she was the princess of Transylvania, which is today Romania, so Eastern from Hungary. So the princess was a passionate Christian and the mother of five boys. One of her sons became later also prince of Transylvania, and she was living in a happy marriage with her Christian husband, George Rakot I, who the prince of Transylvania was. She, with her husband together, successfully introduced biblical reforms in the Transylvanian church. The monarch himself was, himself was often away because you have to know that those days, Hungary was split in three parts, and one part belonged to the Muslim Ottoman Empire for about 150 years, and the other part to the Habsburg Empire, and the third one was this, the Prince of Transylvania. So he had to fight against the Muslims, and uh, that's why he was um, many times away from his home country, and uh, the princess, she had to substitute her and the prince, he was very happy uh, about it. So they uh, could only communicate through mail, but every second or third day, they wrote letters to each other, and they were speaking about uh, all the events in Europe and about Transylvania as well. So not only as a wife and a mother, but as a real woman leader of a whole country, as a princess, she acted as a follower of Christ. So she founded and sponsored the development of several educational establishments, the, notably the uh, Reformed College of Sáros Patak, which is also known as the Hungarian Cambridge. Here, under the princess's influence, she invited John Amos Comenius, maybe you might know the name, he was a very important Christian um, theologist, and uh, he took up his residence there, he was sponsored by the princess, so at those times he could write his most important book, Orbis Pictus, which is the world's, fir the world's first school book with pictures. So uh, her Christian belief, I and mean, the princess' Christian belief, compelled her to shun the pampered life of an aristocrat, and instead to express her belief through action, especially through development of girls' education. While living in Nagyvárod, she ensured that girls were taught not only the skills needed to run a home, but uh, also to read, write, and do arithmetic, how it is grounded in the Bible. She sponsored the Várod Bible, which is a completely new trans translation from the Greek original New Testament to Hungarian. So the Princess Zsuzsana was a real scholastic woman. She wrote two books. She was the first Hungarian woman who could print it and published two books already in the 17th century. One was about Moses and the prophets, and the other one about the testimony of the Holy Spirit. In the West, her books were not warmly welcomed. They criticized it with irony. They made caricatures about the princess herself and also her belief she didn't mind herself, she only minded our Lord. Her work and influence remain even after hundreds of years and worship the Lord. I hope I could emphasize for you what an impact Princess Zsuzsanna Lorant we had on our nation, especially if I look at the seven ladies coming from Nagyvára, where the princess itself, herself also lived those days.